According to a new study, as many as 250,000 homeowners who purchased their home earlier this year are now underwater. Well, what does that mean? And is this something you should worry about? To that second point, no, it's not. Back to the first. Being underwater basically means a homeowner owes more on the house than they would be able to sell for. So you paid 700 for the house and now it's worth 690. One important distinction is underwater does not mean that they're behind, that they're not able to make their payments, they can't keep up, they're about to default on their loan. It just means that according to computer models, they would not be able to pay it off if they sold it without bringing cash in. Which brings me to another relevant point. Most of the people in that group of 250,000 are there not because markets are crashing, but because they bought with little to no money down. VA loans require zero money down. FHA loans require 3.5% down. And some conventional loans will allow you to get in with only 3% down. So if you're between zero and 3.5% down, it doesn't take much of a change in the marketplace you're in to suddenly find that your house is worth less than you owe because that equity disappears pretty quickly. If you put 10, 15, 20% or more down, you're still fine. And remember that that's 250,000 people who bought this year. Now that's a sizable number if you're one of them, but those are just the folks that bought this year. If you go back to 2021 and 2020 and before, we have a very small number of people as a percentage of the whole who are in this position because so much equity has been built over the years. We could lose 25 to 40% in market value and most of the buyers who bought in the last few years would still be ahead, which is crazy, but it's true because of what the COVID market looked like. So looking at the 250,000 who are in this position, understand it's not a sign that their markets are collapsing. It's that in almost all cases, if not all, they had little or very little money down, which is fine and understandable. Also remember, these folks just bought this year. Very few of them have any plans to sell in the next 12 to 24 months. So as we roll through 2023, which is gonna go somewhere a little bit up or a little bit down, and we roll into 2024, things start to pick back up, you're going to see equity be replaced and match back up to that zero point, and then they'll start to build back on the plus again. So it sounds like a scary headline to say 250,000 people are underwater, but again, it doesn't mean they're behind. It means they bought with little to no money down and the markets they live in around the country have taken a bit of an adjustment. Some are still trending upward a little, some are trending downward a little, and some have fallen off a bit more given certain natures of the kind of market that they're in. But this is a small number of homeowners and we still have no reason to believe that the flood of foreclosures is coming, that short sale floods are coming. That statistic does not support that, but it might be used to grab attention and spike a little fear, but it's something we could see coming. It happens anytime there's an adjustment in the market and these folks are not looking to sell, which means they're going to adjust it, excuse me, they're going to be fine as the market adjusts in the next year and so, they'll ride it out. If you or anyone you know is in a position where you fear that you might not have enough equity to sell and you have some concerns, call me and we can discuss options, some of which might involve selling, some of which might involve not selling. We'd have to explore. Remember, real estate's a good long-term investment and if you or someone you know bought earlier this year with little to no money down, it might feel like, uh-oh, things are dropping below, but this is the house you live in and you're going to be there for a couple years, few years, a decade or more, and it's still going to work out and the numbers are going to be fine. You'll have your equity, but call me with any questions.